Hello the internet, welcome back to Rodan Waifus, I'm Sefi and today we have a little bit of a rant on some of the new packs in the shop as usual, as usual, right? So as you all know, every event we get these packs, right? These packs have been here since release basically, they haven't changed much. Uh, over time, however, they have been adding more and more packs in the shop that kind of don't make sense and that they are really widening the gap between free to plays, level spenders and wells. Uh, so far, up to now, of course, you as a free-to-play player will never compete, but day one free-to-plays have a chance of staying more or less, not in the top, but close, right? Following there. Uh, low spender, same thing. They were close. Spender, of course, maybe if we talk about someone like, um, like, like a Scarrow, level 700, 800, no. But for like other wells, you can be close to me. I'm a well by... By, by, by the definition, I've spent like what at this point six thousand, seven thousand dollars in this game over the course of like a year and a half. I will say that's a well, not the biggest one, but by, by any means, right? A well. So you could be like my level right now, you're the day one player, and you optimize your account. I am level one, uh, four zero seven, um, and I did. I don't even get all of the red frame threes because I don't even try, right? So you could be competing, but now they're starting to release systems and more packs that are making it almost impossible long term for free to place to catch up to the well. So let's talk a little bit about that. Before we start, as usual, leave a like, subscribe, help me grow the channel. Recently hit 5k. Let's go. We're gonna be live later playing gacha games. And also, disclaimer, because it, it looks like I have to say this every time I, I make a video like this. I love this game more than almost anybody else, all right? Daily videos since day one. It's streaming every single day, okay? I love this game, but I want it to be better. And, and and my way of asking for some changes is to make this video so I can bring those problems to light, right? I am a white knight of shift up by some people's words, but I don't see it that way. I just would love the game to improve. And my reason and my way of doing so is by making this type of content. So all that jacking aside on the introduction, let's talk about the new collection item maintenance and the new monthly packs, if I remember correctly. It's a monthly pack, yes. So let's talk about this. Now, we're going to be talking about two systems. Maintenance dolls, aka the, the treasures, and gear itself and rocks custom models. Now you all know how hard it is to get a good unit. And by good, I don't mean getting the unit. I mean getting the skills to higher level enough and getting the gear to level 5 overload with good lines. When we talk about good lines, you can spend hundreds of rocks, hundreds of rocks on a single character to get good lines. Now, are you required to do that? Of course not. We're talking about at a competitive level and if you want to keep improving your account because people enjoy min-maxing. That's like people enjoy collecting waifus, like it's my case. People enjoy min-maxing their characters as much as they can, which is completely fair. So when we talk about rocks, the system is trash. We all know this, right? Now, up to this point, the only way you could get rocks is sometimes they will sell them here. Three rocks. I don't like it, but whatever. They also added them, if I remember correctly, to the custom packs in here for the 100 and for this one as well. So you can get five rocks for 150. Really expensive. But now, recently, they finally added a new pack that will renew every single month, which is here for 100 packs, 8,000 gems and 12 rocks. Now, this pack per se, okay, whatever. Let's say that rocks, even though you can get a lot better um, characters in terms of combat power and damage just by optimizing your lines, it's not that big of a deal. It's a big, it, it is a big deal, but let's just say it's not that big of a deal, right? Because everyone can get rocks every day. At the, up to this point, it's like, it is not that bad. It's not that big of a problem. The issue comes, however, with the new packs that they have added that are also going to be, looks like, at least every event. Because this is a normal event. Juvenile Days is not an important event. It's not a big update, right? It's just a new patch, a new event of the week, and now we're getting these packs, probably every new event. These packs are giving you a lot of maintenance kits. 40, 20, 10, 40, 30, 70 and 50. Now, wells are buying this. This is selling like hotcakes, okay? And I'm not gonna tell you, stop spending money. It's your money, spend it however you like, okay? I'm spending my money in the game also. What I mean by this is selling like hotcakes is that now the gap between free to plays and low spenders is gonna be huge. For those of you who don't remember, look at my aim. The reason aim is so high on my characters is because she has it all. She has it all. She is, uh, the gear is basically 3 3 3 3. The skills are not even 10 10 10. And it's only one dupe that I got yesterday by pulling. The reason she is so high on CP is because she has a doll that it's almost level 15. It's level phase 10 right now. Now, the problem with this system is that getting a sapper success, it's 
impossible, right? It's really hard. It's a 1%. If you have this one, it's a 5% and a 15% here. This means that now Wells will have most of their uh, dolls at phase 15. People do not really understand how much of a difference it makes in damage to have a doll phase 15 SR in comparison to getting no doll or just a doll phase zero. The difference is huge. And now you're gonna have people on solo raid, on union raid, on PvP, with characters all full equipped. Purple dolls, SRs, Faith 15. Now the difference now is completely different to what it was before. A free to play is not catching on this. A lower spender like myself, since I only buy pools, is not catching up on this. I only can maintain once every two, three days maybe, and I am refreshing my dispatches every single day to get uh, more boxes as well. So we're talking about a system that it's widening the gap between the free to plays and the spenders a lot, a, a fucking lot. I don't think people really understand how much of a difference this will make on the long run, even for the next solar rate. You, would, you will start seeing that difference and how hard it's going to be to catch up for people who were able to get the 3%. Because there is a lot of lazy wells like myself and people who spend money who don't care, who don't want to get uh, you know, into retrying for 3 hours in solar raid. But now they will get a lot more damage just because the dolls, even if they don't retire in comparison to you if free to play, even if you want to try hard for 6 hours, you're not catching up because there is a ceiling on how much damage you can do. And those characters in comparison with the 15 uh, phase 15 custom dolls will be doing a lot more, right? So these packs, I, I just don't like. I can't agree with these packs at all. And again, I'm not saying don't buy them. Buy whatever you want. I'm not here to, <laughs> to say I'm better than you, okay? I'm still spending money like a retard on the packs to get the characters, all right? I'm not saying anything. Buy whatever you want. I'm just saying I do not like these packs because getting maintenance kits, it's impossible. It is way too slow. The only um, source that we have right now, it's solar rate. On a daily basis, you get barely anything. So the only real source we have as well to place or low spenders, it's solo raids. That's it. Now, will this in the future change? I don't care about the future. Shift up always takes a year to improve the stuff. So we might be a year that wells are buying these packs and then they might fix it. Same for the rocks. It took them a year and a half, a little bit more because we're getting the new interception anomaly next month, right? So more than a year and a half to fix that. So I don't know. It feels like shift up wants to add new core systems into the game that are good. The texture system is good. The rock system is not bad. The problem is the acquisition of those resources to actually be able to improve your account. Progression in Nike feels awful in contrast to almost any other gacha, almost any other idol, where you log in every day and you can see your progress, even if it's a little bit. In Nike, you do not see progress. There is no progress on a daily basis unless you like pushing hard campaign. And once again, we can discuss this any other day. Most people don't do hard campaign. That is the reality. If we go by numbers, most people don't care. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's about it. I wanted to rant a little bit about the new packs. I do not like them. I feel this is gonna widen the gap a lot between spenders and free to plays. And it, it is another, yet another system that shift up didn't plan well. Actually, no, they did plan it pretty well in order to monetize it. <laughs> so that's it. That's gonna be it for this one. God bless our overlords at shift up. Love you all, bosses as usual. Thank you to my patrons for making this content possible. Good luck with your full data rates. I'll see you next time. ブランとノワールの正体もです。